Oh, there's... Who's the best wrestler in the world? Is it Kenny Omega? Is it John Moxley? Is it Brian Danielson? I'm just curious. Tell me, Dave. Who's the, is it your boy Kenny? Is it John? <laughs> yeah, laugh all you want, dipshit. I'm the fucking man now! Me! I'm the best wrestler in the world! There is no more complete wrestler in this planet. Nobody's got my body. Nobody's got my mind. Nobody's got my brain. Inside that ring, on the microphone, hell. Even in a goddamn press conference, nobody can fucking touch me in this business. I don't need a whole group backing me. I don't need someone in my ear advising me what to say, how to walk, how to talk. There is nobody. And I mean no, no, no. Nobody on my level. And you're going to hear it over and over again because ain't nobody dethroning the devil. God damn, I got a horn growing out now. Shit's getting real, isn't it? But I feel good. My back ain't against the wall no more. I got nothing to panic about. I'm having fun now. Tony, you ready to have some fun, answer some questions? Yeah. Good shit. Got some Kalen and Kalen pickles over there. Going to eat the shit out of that. Hold on. God fucking damn it, this stupid. So, when I was in the Senior Bowl All-Star Game, no big fucking deal, and I played in the game, I was running on a sweep. I had 15 tackles going into the first half. If you don't believe me, Google it, you fucking marks. And a fat roly poly -oly offensive lineman made a cut block right on my left leg and tore my MCL and my meniscus, and it has been nagging the fucking shit out of me ever since. But did that stop me from tapping out? The best wrestler in the world? I'm just curious, Dave, did it? No. No, no, he fucking didn't. Oh my god, that's a good fucking pickle. Jesus Christ, classic guilt. Anybody want a piece? Really? Nobody wants a pickle? How about you? You want a pickle? Come here, dipshit. Take a pickle. You, fuckface, take a pickle. You! Yeah! What are you fucking deaf? Tell me what you think of this Kaylin and Kaylin pickle. Here you go, big bite. It's a fantastic yeah, all right, pickle. now fuck off. It's excellent. Yeah. God damn it. All right. So here's the thing. I watch these things every single time, and they're so fucking long. No offense. So fucking long. So, and also the questions kind of suck. So can you guys do me a fucking favor? Hit me with some hard shit, okay? Fucking give it to me, because you're journalists, right? You're not right, Will? You're a fucking journalist? Yeah. No, not a fucking journalist. Great. All right, here we go. Who's going first? Yeah, guy with the slick black hair looked like a fucking rat. Pickles. Oh, fucking. William Crowley with comicbook.com. Max, congrats. Comicbook.com? Comicbook.com. Oh, wow. It's like the New York Times. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Congrats on the title defense tonight. Yep. You've beaten the likes of Ricky Starks and Brian Danielson so far in your title defense. Chris. Oh, okay. I thought we were just talking about people I beat, like John Motley and Chris Jericho. The and list. And CM Punk and. On. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. Who, from people of your past or people you haven't faced yet, are you looking to cement by beating in this title range? God damn, man. To be perfectly brutally honest, I'm not a mark like everybody else who works here. I don't have dream matches. What I have is this. The most important title in all of professional wrestling. What everybody's dream should be is to face me because there is nobody more important in this business than MJF. How's that for an answer? Good. Thank you. Yeah, okay, ratchet. Who else? What, are we scared? There we go, Will. Will Washington, I know your name, Jesus Christ. You're a great guy. So, yeah. about don't laugh at him, <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's my friend, man. Oh, all right. Okay, dreads. What are you saying? Five minutes into the Iron Man match tonight, you are making the rounds virally for having thrown a drink, uh, a mom's drink, yep. on her kid. Yeah. Uh, so this question is kind of a twofold. It goes for both uh, Max and for Tony. Uh, one for Max. Yeah. What was going through your mind throwing the drink on the kid? Kid looked thirsty. What's the second question? And two, Tony, will there be any type of consequences for Max? Uh, we had a, co a, co a conversation uh, before we came up here. Uh, we had a conversation, a serious conversation, and I mean that, and it's not to be taken lightly, and the young man Titus uh, was a real pro about it, and we'll see, see Titus here again in AEW, and uh, I believe Titus is actually coming to Sacramento, uh, but I was just with him, and he was a real uh, champ about it, and uh, you know, the champion uh, didn't act like a champion there, but I think Titus was great. 
Salt of the earth, that Titus. Real worried about him. What else we got? Yeah. Amy Nemedy with WrestleJoy. Mm -hmm. Congratulations on your title defense. Yeah. So you just fought a 16 minute Iron Man match with one of the best wrestlers in the world, one of the best one of. wrestlers. Yeah. In the we world. We know who the best one is now. Clearly it's you. Yeah. So I was curious, how what are your thoughts as you realize that you have successfully defended your championship and dethroned one of the greatest wrestlers in the world? And what are your preparations heading into a match like a 60 man? 60-minute Iron Man match. So my prep was absolutely insane, and I am not afraid to admit that I understood the task at hand when it came to facing the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. I am not going to sit here and pretend that Brian Danielson isn't an absolutely incredible athlete. Because he is. Um, every single day, I'd wake up at 5 a.m., I would take a cold plunge. I would then do fasted cardio for 45 minutes. And then after that fast cardio, I'd go in the sauna for 30 minutes. And then after that sauna, I would take a shower. Not a cold shower, a normal shower. Then I would eat 12 ounces of oatmeal and 10 and a half ounces of white eggs, no yolk. And then I would go to the gym and I would lift like a maniac. And then I would go on the Stairmaster for an hour. And I'm sure there are people at home who are watching this right now that think I'm bullshitting. But I'm completely dead serious. I've never been in better shape in my entire life. I feel I truly gave Brian Danielson. I feel I was dragging him by his nose at points in that match. I think I exhausted Brian Danielson. I also think I tapped out Brian Danielson. Go figure. Um, but in all sincerity, Brian Danielson is hands down the toughest competitor I've ever been in the ring with. And I was fully aware that I had to do everything in my power to be perfectly ready for that match. And I think I most certainly was, because I put on probably one of the best, if not the best, professional wrestling matches about a bell of all time. Was that a good answer, Tony? Yeah, it was. Sick. How long is prep time? So, once Brian Danielson said that he wanted to do a 60-minute Ironman match, I believe that was, was that at this point probably how many days ago? 60 days ago? It's been a, it's been a while, I and mean, we have to go back and look at Does anybody, I have to go look at the exact date that was on Dynamite. Well, are you okay? Several you weeks ago. January 4th. Thank you. Dude, you're so, God. That was I Seattle, January so 4th. Much. How do you know Two that? months. Who just spits out that info? Stop laughing. He is a computer, a he's wrestling a computer. He's a nut job. Yeah, he's I thought you were fucking it. I said that. He's special. Oh, Even I would put over Will Washington God. at the Masters. Will, game. honestly, honest to God, could, stop giggling. It's very impressive that you're... So okay. over two months. So yeah, over two months ago. Uh, do you know the date of my birthday, too? No, I don't care about okay. that. Okay. <laughs> it's March 15th. It's coming up. I'm having my rebar mitzvah very soon. So... What was the goddamn question at this point? He Will said how long the preparation me. period. So yeah, so he said it about 60 days ago, and like I said, every day, I was not exaggerating. That's literally what I did every day. I was punishing myself. And I would stay in that sauna until my lungs literally, like, could not take it anymore. And I would have it up to an absurd, absurd, absurd temperature. And I did Stairmaster almost every day for an hour. I did very heavy lifting, as anybody can see that follows me on social media. I got up to the point where I was doing a 150 dumbbell bench press flat. And I, I've never been this strong. I've never had this much uh, great cardio. And again, I understood the task at hand. The task at hand was I knew if I was wrestling Brian Danielson, I'd be in for the fight of my life. I knew I had to go the devil versus the dragon, and that's no easy feat. And I knew that I wanted to have the greatest exhibition in the history of our sport. And whether you people like me or not, and I can give a shit if you do, Dave, I don't think anybody can pretend at this point that I'm not the most complete professional wrestler in the business today. Whether you like me or not, whether you agree with what I have to say or not, I just think it's the God's honest truth. Who's this good on the mic? Who's this good in the ring? Who's the complete package like me? Nobody. Hey, Reg. All right, Reg. He has a one rap song I really like. That's right, just Reg? Yeah, yeah. Podcast. I know who you are, dude. Also, just get to the question. Pro Wrestling Illustrated? Yeah. Oh, PWI, look at that. Yeah. yeah. You went one hour with Brian Danielson. One hour and what, seven one minutes? One hour plus. Yeah, yeah. With Brian Danielson. Great job. Thanks. Who would you say is next in line for the AEW World Champion? I think somebody like Hangman Page had a great victory tonight. Yeah, sensitive cowboy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have any... 
somebody on your radar or um, just moving forward as the AEW champion? To, to be brutally honest, like I said, there's a lot of people on my radar. I am fully aware that Hangman Adam Page is a good competitor. I'm also fully aware of how I won this. Anybody know who I beat for this Dynamite Diamond Ring originally? Hangman Page. Adam Page. I think Hangman is scared of MJF, and I think Hangman knows better than to come anywhere near MJF for the time being. There are other people here that I genuinely, really, really don't like. I also don't love the fact that a guy like Jungle Boy, or Darby Allen, or Sammy Guevara is allowed to walk around like they are homegrown superstars. Yes, they're homegrown, they're very solid, but at this point, I think it is very obvious that there is only one pillar that actually holds this place up. So, kind of would like to prove a point there. Adam Cole was talking shit on Twitter. Wasn't a fan of that. Think he should keep his fucking mouth shut and maybe he should tell his girlfriend it is to do so as well. Are there more people? Sure. I don't like Claudio Castagnoli's face. I think Eddie Kingston's a crybaby bitch. And I think he's also a little punk, and I wouldn't mind getting a chance to slap him across his blue-collar face. There's a lot of people that I would love to absolutely demolish, both on the microphone and in the ring. But as I said, I don't do dream matches. The only dream I have is to hold this and for the reign of terror to last an eternity. Next question. Yes. Uh, MJF Denise Salcedo. So I'm curious, you know, you've done a lot of stuff now in AEW. Your voice so is graining. <laughs> Keep going. Um, I do want to ask you in terms of, you know, where does this rank for you? Where does this, where does tonight rank for you? I think tonight is the biggest statement of all. I think I'm just going to state a fact. And if anybody in this room disagrees with me, that's fine. You're wrong, but it's okay. There's this weird thing because I am a special attraction and I don't wrestle as often as everybody else that... I'll wrestle, everyone will be reminded that I'm the best professional wrestler in the world, and then by the time I wrestle again, I'll actually read Nimrod on social media go, uh, MJF's really good on the microphone, but I don't know if he can hang in the ring. And it happens over and over and over and over again. Maybe, perhaps, after tonight, everyone who tweets that can shut the fuck up, because it's ridiculous at this point. Jungle Boy match, Darby Allen match, Sammy Guevara match, Chris Jericho match, Cody Rhodes match, CM Punk match. Do you want me to keep going? I can keep going. Tonight, the Ricky Starks match. I've had so many fucking classics at this point, and yes, I don't wrestle often. You want to know why I don't wrestle often? Because I'm not a fucking mark. I'm not. I have the world title. This is the only thing that matters. Why am I going to fucking get punched in the face for no reason? It's dumb. I'm going to let these idiots do that. And if at this point anybody questions whether or not I'm the best in this business, if anybody questions whether or not I can go in this ring, I implore you to stop fucking bullshitting yourself and just watch my fucking matches back, you fucking idiots. I was reading people, sincerely, Tony, again, on social media, and I love this shit because it just puts a fucking gigantic chip on my shoulder and it sharpens my fucking horns, okay? I was reading people actually saying, 60 minutes, MJF, I don't know if he can do that. Fucking what? What? It's outrageous. So are we done? I'm, j I'm asking you guys, because you are the cream of the crop of the marks. Are we done pretending? Are we done pretending that MJF isn't the most complete wrestler. I'm fucking sick of it. No more pretending that I can't go as well in the ring as I can on the microphone. Enough already. It's over. It's done. Stop comparing me to dumb motherfuckers that can only talk. I am not one dimensional. Enough. Next question. Last question for Max. Amanda Dramati, marketing manager at Hinge Health. What's motivating you to Hinge the dating app? Hinge Health. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I've been on Hinge recently, by the way. It's a great not app. Not the same. Not the same. Close enough, though. Yeah. So what's motivating you to do all this? What's on your mind at the ring? I want to make sure that I go down as being just as great as I say I am. That means the world to me. Leaving a legacy in this business means the world to me. This sport, as I was discussing before, 
sorry, these pickles are fucking so good. And I <laughs> can't get over the fact that they, sorry. <sighs> there have been a lot of people who are really good on the microphone, but can't back it up in the ring. And I feel it's happened for so many years that people just assume, oh, he can only talk. And what the legacy I want to leave is the same legacy that, you know, the types of top guys in this industry left where they felt like the most complete package possible. I want to go down as the best wrestler of all time. And that's why I do this. Now, do I care if people agree with me? No. It's about how I feel. How do I feel right now? I feel not only am I on track, I feel that at the tender age of 26, I've arguably already had a Hall of Fame career. Sorry. I've been in some of the greatest rivalries in the history of the sport. I have had some of the greatest oratory exhibitions in the history of the sport, and I've had some of the greatest matches in the history of the sport, and I'm only 26. That's nuts. And this guy is very, very lucky to have caught me at the time he caught me. I'd say thank you, but then I would be an insincere piece of shit. So I'm going to grab this crutch, and I am going to go upstairs, and I am going to eat more of these Kalen and Kalen pickles. Thank you. Fuck you. Bye. No fucking golf clap for MJF. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, Jesus oh Max. I fucking hate you guys. You suck. <laughs> Your pickles. God damn it. Can you carry these fucking pickles? Thank you. Oh. Jesus fucking Christ. Seven star match broken.